All right, so now we've successfully downloaded the Anaconda distribution from Continuum Analytics. And in this lesson, I'll take you through the process of installing it. So here I am in my downloads folder. I can see the package installer. Let's double click it. And this will bring up the official uh, installation prompt. Let's give it a few seconds here. There it is. So uh, that you'll be guided through the process necessary to install the Anaconda 3 installer. Looks good to me. Let's press continue. And on the second tab, which is called README, uh, if we scroll down, we can actually see the list of all of the Python libraries that are bundled within this installation. You can see here the packages included in this installation are. And as I scroll down here to the P section, just to confirm, just to play it safe, we can see that Pandas is in fact included as one of those libraries. So we are all good here. It will come uh, bundled and it is installed with this uh, distribution. Let's click continue here. You can read the legal text if you're interested here. Click continue, click agree. And on the next section, we're going to see this uh, destination select prompt. You can click install for me only. And what's great about Anaconda is that everything is self-contained within a single folder. What that means is that Python and all these libraries are all going to be stored in a single directory in your user folder. So both uh, installation in this case and uninstallation is a breeze because the files are not going to be you know, stored all over your Mac system. They're all going to be within a single folder. So as soon as you remove that folder, Anaconda will be removed from your computer. So uh, I'm going to pick this option to, to install from my current logged in user account. Install for me only, then click continue. You can see that the installation will take uh, more than a gigabyte of space on my computer, so it's pretty large, but uh, nothing crazy, I guess, in today's world. So let's click install here, and that'll begin the installation process. So what it's basically going to do here behind the scenes is set up that directory. Within it, we're going to install Python. We're going to install Pandas, as well as those uh, that long list of 100 or so, 150 or so, Python libraries. So it's literally doing it one by one behind the scenes. The Windows installation actually shows you the process, you know, step by step where it's telling you what library you're doing. But I'm going to leave this video on and uh, just record the entire process and the progress bar as we move through this installation. So you can kick things off on your end and I'll check back in as soon as we are done uh, with this installation, pro uh, installation progress. All right, so now the Anaconda installation has successfully completed, and we can click close here. And if I uh, let's say, do you want to move the Anaconda 3 installer to the trash? Ah, I want to keep it, so it'll stay here for now. You can move it to the trash, certainly, if you'd like. So if I navigate to my user folder, so in my case, it's Macintosh, and then users, and then Boris Passcaver. You can see that Anaconda has been installed right here alongside the other folders like applications and downloads and documents. So this is where everything is self-contained. So Python and Pandas and all the libraries are all stored in here. I'm not sure which exact folder I think it's been, but um, basically everything is contained here. 
So what you can do is if you ever need to remove Anaconda or uninstall it in order to reinstall it later, all you have to do is right click here and click move to trash. Removing this folder from your computer effectively uninstalls Anaconda. That's what I love about it. Everything is self-contained. Um, no need to you know, stretch out and run some kind of complex uninstallation process. So there's a, a couple things I want to do here. First of all, I want to also go to the applications uh, directory and just show you that a new application has been installed called Navigator. And what that is is basically a front-end interface for interacting with some of these libraries, including the Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to take this and drag it to my dock so I have a permanent ease of access. And what I also recommend here is just to click it and launch it for the first time just to confirm that it works successfully and there's no uh, installation problems. Um, so it's going to hover a bit. It's going to show you this bright green circle. It's going to uh, set everything up and it's going to give you a prompt like this. You can see Jupyter Notebook is available right here to launch. So uh, this is our Anaconda Navigator, which again is the front end uh, program for interacting with some of these apps. It's one of the ways that we can launch Jupyter Notebook. And in the next lesson, uh, I'll take you through the process of accessing the terminal, which is what we're going to use to update uh, many of these installed libraries as well as install some additional ones. The reason for this is because what Continuum Analytics does basically is pick a day and then bundle all of the libraries into this distribution. And each of these libraries is separate and independent. They each have their own development teams. So their development process is completely separate and isolated. So by the time that Anaconda bundles this and by, you know, in between the times that it releases the next update, plenty of these in independent Python libraries receive their own updates. So it's always a good idea to make sure they're up to date with their latest and greatest versions. So I'll take you through the process of installing that all of the libraries that we need are up to date and uh, you know we don't need to worry about any kind of deprecated document uh, deprecated commands that kind of stuff so in the next lesson I'll take you through the process of accessing the terminal and in the next lesson after that I'll take you through the process of updating all the libraries so I'll see you there